The Meridian Southern Railway here in Meridian, Mississippi is a very unique short line railroad. They hold six of some of the last remaining B23-7 GE locomotives still active in 2019, two of which here are X Santa Fe and the other four are X Conrail, all still showing in its original paint scheme. I've always wanted to chase the Meridian Southern for a while, and that was our plan today, as my friend Elijah Brown and I planned a four-day weekend chasing all different kinds of trains across Mississippi. It's 0830 in the morning, as a crew fires up two of the Conrail B23-7s for their train towards Quitman today. We were able to stick around in the yard with permission as they worked until they got their train together. Also, please excuse the audio on some of these clips. I had just purchased a new microphone for my camera and neglected to read the instructions before I put it to use. Thanks to Elijah, I was able to savor some of his audio feed from his videos so I can show you my view during the events. With the train now put together, the crew heads south for Quitman. The first publicly accessible spot for us to shoot them at would be Arundale Road, about six miles south of Meridian. This would be where our chase of the old B-23-7s begin. Not to mention, too, with its RS-3L horn. of speed they were going, it was pretty easy for us to leapfrog over to the next easily accessible crossing. Here they are again a few miles south approaching Bronson Road.
By the time we got into Quitman, we just so happened to catch up with the other road train ahead of the train we were chasing with the other two ex-Conrail B23-7s. But little did both Elijah and I know, we were in for a historical moment. Meridian Southern had just recently received two SW1200 RS locomotives from the Red River Valley Western Railroad to add to their power consist. After having these locomotives for over a month, they used that power on a road train today for the first time ever, which meant this was the very first time these two buttheads are meeting the Conrail engines, all four of them. They had to wait on the second southbound train to clear the single main track before they could proceed north towards Meridian.
we would start our chase back towards Meridian with this train, since we basically saw everything we needed to see in Quitman. This crew would take this train back to their main yard to tie down, and then move on to the Santa Fe B23-7s for a little work to be performed there. back in Meridian, the crew had to move the Santa Fe engines out of the way so they could back their train in front of the yard office. This was the only movement we were able to capture of these units.
this is where they would tie their train down for the day. Before hitting the KCS Meridian Speedway, we got one more close look at the old Santa Fe B23-7s. Santa Fe will remain to be my number one favorite classic railroad, and to see these engines still being used was such a sight to see. Special thanks to MDS General Manager Ricky Jacobs for the helpful information on these trains today and for allowing us to enter the yard to capture video of these movements. Give this video a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting content coming out soon. And don't forget to make sure that notification bell is turned on. Stay tuned for Class 1 Mainline action as we're en route to Jackson, Mississippi. But for now, so long from Meridian, Mississippi, along the Meridian Southern Railway.